हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सेल डिवीजन इन उडोगोनियम सेल डिवीजन इन उडोगोनियम इज ए वेरी पिक्यूलियर एंड यूनिक टाइप इट अकर्स इन सेल डिवीजन ऑलवेज अकर्स इन इंटरकैलरी सेल्स ऑफ उडोगोनियम we know that udogonium filament of udogonium have three different type of cell basal cell apical cell and intercalary cell that the cells that lie between apical and basal cells are called intercalary cells so cell division always occurs in these intercalary cells so how is how cells divide we will study in this video so this is a normal intercalary cell so first before cell division we know that its nuclei of a normal vegetative cell always lies towards peripheral side so first before cell division so first its nucleus will migrate towards center from peripheral position to center its nucleus will migrate from peripheral position to central position so it will come to the center of the cell and another <laughs> event that occur during this uh, during that time is formation of ring like structure at apical portion of cell so here this is cell that is dividing so at the apical portion of this cell this portion ring like structures will form so here ring like structure so first event is nuclei will come towards the center and ring like structure will form at the apical portion of the cell now this central nuclei will divide by a mitosis and form two nuclei so here it will divide and it will form two nuclei after division a layer of microtubules will arise between two nuclei so here there will be a formation of a layer this layer microtubule layer between two nuclei so after division after division of nuclei a layer will develop a layer of microtubule will develop in between these two nuclei and further this ring like structure will increase in size and forms u shaped structure so here they will increase in size and they will form u shaped structure <laughs> after increase in size they will elongate here they will elongate these ring like structure then elongate then further they will elongate so here they are elongated so they will elongate and when they will elongate this wall this outer wall it will rupture this outer wall will rupture and it will attach after rupturing it will attach towards upper part so this is a parent wall so this wall is this wall which so this wall when these ring like structures will elongate they will create pressure on this wall and this wall will rupture so after rupturing this wall remain attached to the upper portion here this wall is ruptured so this wall when they elongate it this wall will rupture and it will 
attach to the upper portion so after rupturing it will attach to the first is ring like structure will elongate so when they will elongate outer wall will rupture after rupturing it will attach to the upper part and this attach wall parent wall will form cap so here cap how caps are formed caps are formed by rupturing of these outer wall outer parent wall due to elongation of these ring like structures when these ring like structure will elongate they will create pressure there and this will rupture after rupturing this wall will attach towards upper part towards anterior part and they will form a cap so after elongation further microtubules these microtubule layers will mature further microtubule layer will mature by further deposition by further thickening you can say by further thickening and form septa or you can say form wall so now two cells will divide so by maturation of these septa or these microtubule layer two cell will separate so this cell is separated from this cell by this septa so now two cells are separated so here this cell have cap and this cell is without cap so a cell here we can see that cell with cap is younger cell this cell have cap this is younger cell because this cell is derived from division of this cell so it was a single cell it this cell divided and form a newer cell towards upper side so cap cells are always younger cells so this is cell division in oodogonium so first is cell division always occurs in intercalary cells so we know that in intercalary cells nucleus is towards peripheral side so first the nuclei will come towards center then there will be a thickening or a thickening ring like thickening will arise towards upper part this ring like thickening that is that will arise toward upper part now after development of this ring like thickening this nuclei will divide into two nucleus and a microtubule layer will develop between these two nuclei now these ring like thickenings will increase in size further then after increase in size they finally elongate so when they will elongate they will rupture the outer wall and this outer wall then remain attached to the anterior portion of cell and it form cap now the microtubule layer will mature by further de deposition and it will form a mature wall between two cells so now two cells are different so this is cell division in oodogonium